I-70 reopened around 9 o'clock last night. We're also starting to hear more uh, from the people on the highway Thursday afternoon, including from a woman and now out of the hospital. Nine News reporter Sonia Gutierrez has been following the story and joins us now from the highway. And Sonia, how is the road looking since the repaving? Hey, Mark, good afternoon. So you can clearly see where the old pavement ends and the new pavement begins. Also on the median, you can see the rubble of the fire and the burn and the crash and everything that happened here. Traffic, however, is flowing just like normal. But those lives that were affected here might not be going as normal. Out of the blue, like, Leslie's car came up and hit the backside of my car and just kind of split across the backside of my car because the semi was just launching her through traffic. Leslie Maddox was the last patient released from St. Anthony's Hospital after the I-70 crash. I got out and got over to Leslie's car. Malia Harsh is she's one like, of the two no, people right? who helped get her out. And she's like, I think I broke my arm. I think I broke my arm. I'm like, you did. But uh, we got to go because things are, it was on fire. I mean, you could see the fire, you could feel the fire. That saved my life. I would have died because I wouldn't have gotten in the car myself. I, could, I was physically unable to, and I, I was so dazed, and I, I didn't know what happened. You know, you're sitting there one minute, and the next thing, everything, it sounded like a bomb had gone off. Luckily, some other gentleman actually came over and helped us. That gentleman was Lloyd Alvin Chavez III. Lloyd said, you need to move, things are blowing, and all of a sudden things started blowing up and fire and smoke. Both Lloyd and Malia helped Leslie get into a car and back to safety. Malia got in the car with Leslie. Lloyd stayed behind. He was literally running in front of the car. I mean, running in front of the car, making sure everybody else was out of the way. His Marine training and spirit of defending kicked in, something that runs in his family. His grandfather, Lloyd Chavez Sr., was caught in Korea with the 82nd Airborne. His uncle and son, both are Marines too. Lloyd didn't want to do an on-camera interview because he says he's not that kind of man. He is, however, the kind of man who instinctively put his life on the line for others. It was, it's really awesome getting that chance to be able to help somebody. And Malia is the kind of woman who wants to dedicate her life to do the same. So Malia hopes to get her EMT certification this summer and continue going to school at Red Rocks Community College to become a paramedic one day. Lloyd just wants everyone to know that Marines will always have our back. Guys, it's so refreshing to hear these stories from folks who will always be willing to help people out. Some remarkable heroism, no question about it. Sonia Gutierrez reporting along I-70.